Oh, wow. Wow. When someone insults your family, should you laugh it off or get offended and fight back? For Squabbles TV, I'm social psychologist Dr. Brooks Gibbs, and you're watching Pop Smart, and we're learning a lesson from pop culture today. At the 2022 Oscars, comedian Chris Rock made a joke about Jada Pinkett Smith's shaved head, and it didn't go over very well. G.I. Jane 2, can't wait to see it, all right? <laughs> Funny stuff, right? Not really. At least Jada didn't think so. Why didn't Jada find that joke funny? Well, maybe it was because she was insecure about her hair loss. No, no, this should live with alopecia. <laughs> she was recently diagnosed with alopecia, an autoimmune disease that causes hair loss. And so it just showed up like that. You know, this is going to be a little bit more difficult for me to hide. She obviously was offended by the joke, and her husband, Will Smith, was in an ethical dilemma. Does he laugh off a joke about his wife, or does he take her offense and defend her honor? Will Smith decided to teach Chris Rock a lesson to never make fun of his wife again. <laughs> oh, wow! Wow! Will Smith just smacked the out of me. <laughs> it was a G.I. Jane joke. Keep my wife's name out no! I'm going to, okay? Immediately, the internet exploded with opinions, many condemning Will Smith's actions. And I love the brother and I'm proud of him, but boy, was that a shameful act for him to commit tonight. To go up on stage and slap Chris Rock like that. Others, like Jaden Smith, Will's son, applauded his dad's behavior by tweeting out, and that's how we do it. This teachable moment from pop culture begs the question when somebody insults your family, how should you respond? For years, I've been teaching students how to take and make a joke about themselves and their family members without being offended. See, friends can take and make a joke about themselves. Some places in like urban communities, they're like, yo mama's so fast, she sat on skills and popped out a rainbow. <laughs> and they'll say, your daddy's so dumb, he died of starvation in a grocery store. People do this as a source of affection, not to try to hurt each other, but to have fun with each other. Here's something you have to know about humor. For humor to work, it has to be insulting. I mean, there's no such thing as a funny compliment. Only insults are funny. So if there's gonna be a punchline, someone has to be the butt of the joke. And the more exaggerated the insult, the better the punchline. Will Smith should know this because he's made his career making fun of other people too. Well, speaking as a lawyer, I can only say that your daughter suits the criminal profile to a T, <laughs> right down to the low sloping forehead and the wide jaw suitable for grains and small rodents. <laughs> you must have a confused with your mama. A lot of guys like Will Smith foolishly believe that the macho thing to do, the manly thing to do is to defend your loved one from a verbal insult by becoming physically aggressive. How stupid is that? Let's not forget the facts. Chris Rock, a comedian, made a verbal joke at Will Smith's wife and Will Smith physically assaulted Chris Rock in retaliation. That's not okay. If Chris Rock wanted to, he could call the police and charge Will Smith with assault and battery. And Will Smith would face jail time and big fines. Will Smith only proved one thing, that he is profoundly weak in this area. Because of his rigid belief system about people insulting his loved ones, well, now anyone can psychologically dominate him. That's not strength, that's weakness, and he should know better. He fundamentally failed a resilience test in the moment that it mattered most, when he was getting the highest honor of his life. Denzel said to me a few minutes ago, he said, at your highest moment, be careful, that's when the devil comes for you. <sighs> Do you know who the big winner is here? It's Chris Rock. Because even after being physically slapped by Will Smith, Chris Rock brushes it off. He turns the other cheek. He shows a virtue called meekness, which may look like weakness to some thugs, but the truth is, meekness is a virtue. 
it's strength under control, and it proves that you are emotionally resilient, something we all need to be. For Squabbles TV, I'm social psychologist, Dr. Brooks Gibbs, helping you be pop smart.